pleasure to meet y'all at last and welcome back to some more four lane elimination stuff on Hot Wheels Hilarity. But as you probably might have already seen on my eBay page, this thing's getting ready to go. But before any of that happens, I feel like I should probably have one last episode with this in action. It's not necessarily going to be oriented towards any sort of grouping or any kind of team as I've done so in recent times. But instead, if you remember all these models from yesterday's episode, then you probably would have guessed. I figured I'd let all of them have a nice chance at trying to win at something for a change. Now, of course, I've got more models, but as you can see, the eight models that won yesterday's Colossal Clash layout shoutouts competition, they're all just sitting in this box, pretty much, because they've already won at yesterday's competition. But today's competition is going to be more about the rest of them that I featured. They unfortunately never really got a chance at winning or much so a good chance at being good on the track of any sort. So you know what? Let's try something different here. Now, since this can only fit four at a time, we're going to have to split all of these into groups. So, cut to black. Bada bing, bada boom. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight total groups of cars. Eight times four is 32. And here we have Robo Race and Robo Car and the Citroën C4 Rally just sitting on top because if you hadn't noticed from the previous episode, both of these have actually tried their hardest to get all the way to the very end of the last layout. So they could watch over the other 32 right here. As they all race down through here and cross over to this yellow piece of track, which I'll consider the finishing line. But now it's time to go ahead and race through all eight of these groups. I intend to pick out a total of eight racers from this grouping. So let's get it going. So with that, Linster prototype adds up to a total of eight winners. Not to mention Robo Race Robocar in the Citroen C4 Rally. But now we're gonna go ahead and see if we can actually dish them out. So here's how it's gonna work. I'm gonna dish in Unobtainium and Turbo Charged alongside the Citroen and Robo Race. So we're gonna see if we can either knock both of these out or if any of these can go out. So either way, we're gonna put in two more races 
starting now. Well, they all rolled off the table, but it looks like Unobtainium was able to beat out the others here. So, let's get them resituated. Robo Race pretty much did not do, do so well as the others, so let's just see if we can get in one more race. Now, if neither of these basically get a win, then well, they're both out. And Turbo and Charge and Unobtainium both go to the next match. Well, looks like that's that. Fate has been sealed. So, at least he tried, but goodbye. So anyways, we're going to put in one last race for two different groupings right here. Let's get on going with this group right here with the 66 Nova, Turbo Charged, Backwoods Bomb, and Mad Splash. Only one winner is going to get through here, so one, two, three, go. And the 66 Nova wins, so let's go ahead and get this resituated here. So these three unfortunately got to go. But, at least we can go ahead and just identify with the fact that the 66 Chevy Nova is going to go on with the finals. But can we get one other racer to go alongside it? The other grouping of cars includes Zender Fact 4, Drift Tech, Unobtainium, and the Linster Prototype. But like the other group, only one of these four is going to go alongside the 66 Nova and we'll have two finalists all together. Go. And with that, sorry Unobtainium, sorry Linster, and sorry to Drift Tech. But not so sorry to Zender Fact 4, because it looks like we got ourselves some potential winners right here. So let's make this. Best of three, pretty much. Whoever can get two wins will be declared the winner. Go. So, Zender Fact 4 pretty much clears one win. Can I get a second one and knock out the Nova? Let's find out. Well, there you go. 66 Nova gets dished out by Zenderfact 4. And so, well, that concludes the final ever competition based on usage of the four lane elimination track set. So I hope that you enjoyed all this. Well, I got to get packing with this, so I guess we'll see this thing on the other side. Maybe whoever receives this will be proud to have this in their own Hot Wheels collection. But, Zender Fact 4, the last ever model that pretty much reigns supreme on this layout, after I've had it for about 10 whole years. And with that in mind, thank you for watching.